YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. Hope you're having a kick-ass day. Well, I'm going to talk to you about the new hotness um, when it comes to Picatane Rail Adapter Bipods. Um, you've seen my other videos. You've seen me compare the BT-10, uh, actually the BT-10 LW-17. Uh, this is a great Picatinny Rail Adaptable um, Bipod. Um, it has very cool features to be able to um, adjust the legs in many positions, um, extend that up to nine inches, and have a lot of uh, user adaptable um, settings for this for a bipod. Very fun, very cool design. On the pricey side, yes, but you know when you have a rifle like this one right here, where you don't have a, a swivel stud, you have a actual a rail adapter. Let me show you that rail adapter here. Um, you can't, it's very hard to adapt that to use it for a Harris. And this is a Harris S. This is what a lot of people are familiar with. These are great bipods, but you know, we got tactical rifles now. So with it comes Picatinny rail adapter. So uh, we have this rifle and see how it, there's no swivel stud at all. But the nice thing is I can slap this on here with this mount. I slap it on and boom, it's on, it's firm in seconds. So all of a sudden this uh, adapter is ready to go on this rifle. This is a product I've used for over a year and I've been very 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 happy with it. Um, yes it's expensive it's about 280 bucks with the quick detach which is ap an absolute necessity for me. Um, I can switch this on and off multiple different rifles. All my all my precision rifles for the most part have a Picatinny rail adapter on the bottom and I can slap these on and off. So um, buy once cry once is what they say. So. Uh, check out the other videos I have on this BT-10. This is not what this video is about. I want to show you the new hotness and compare and contrast the new model. The new model. So let's talk about the new model. The new model is right here. Just came in the mail for me to demo. Um, again, I have no sponsorships or anything. These are completely independent reviews. So this is the model BT-46LW-17. Now this is essentially the same model as this one except this is updated and has some uh, user input where they made some modifications to it. So let's pretend that this is considered the Gen 1 and this is considered the Gen 2 and this is as of January 2015. Okay, So let's open this box up here, our bag so to speak. Um, Atlas bipods are really popular, um, they're very expensive, they, they're, they're, but you know what I'm telling you guys. I shoot in the dirt, the mud, the hunt, um, precision shooting matches, bench rest. I really have been happy with this product. So if you get what you pay for, and like I said, you uh, cry once, buy once. This is, I guess, a term I've been hearing lately. So let's open this up and tell you about this bad boy, okay? So we got this opened up here. Not much in there. Plastic bag with a yellow insert, and it has some basic instructions. We're not going to go over the use of this bipod. I'm just going to compare and contrast the differences. So this is it. This is the new hotness. I want to give you some detailed views on it. Basically, here's the back. Here's the ADM mount, the American Defense mount. That is awesome. I mean, this mount right here is just a beauty. And if you buy this mount separately, um, it's still $70 just for this mount. So imagine this bipod without the mount minus 70 bucks. Now MSRP on this guy is $320. Yep, you heard me. 320 bucks. It's expensive. Because a Harris S, which is considered to be a great bipod, is like 110 bucks. A six by nine. So you're paying three times the amount of money. Just FYI. This Nerlene's awesome. Ooh yeah, I'd love it. So let's go over the updated features real quick. So what I'm going to do is let me dismount, uh, unmount this one off my rifle and you can see how convenient it is. Look at that. I can just take that off in a second. Alright, we have both bipods uh, set next to each other. Uh, just a quick reference. Both of these are the original deal. They're not knockoffs. They're not the airsoft versions. These are made by uh, BT Industries. They are Atlas Precision bipods. Now on the right hand side, for reference sake, it will be the Gen 1, it will be the Model V8, the BT-10, and this is the one you've seen in my other videos, you've seen it on my rifles when I go shooting, I absolutely love this bipod. MSRP on the Gen 1 is $280, and that does include 
the QD mount from American Defense. So this QD mount, the model number is the 170S lever, and this right here makes all the difference. I love this quick detach mount. It's a big deal. Okay, to be able to quickly remove and interchange this system onto different rifle systems from my 22 to my 308 to my 338 Lapua Magnum, it is very, very handy. In fact, when I sight in my ARs, because all of my ARs have some sort of Picatinny rail system on the bottom, I use this to stabilize that AR so I can have a really good prone sight in. So even for my AR-15s, I use this bipod and it's quick detached, so it's very convenient. Okay. So let's talk about the differences. I want to compare and contrast the new hotness on the left with the uh, Gen 1, which is still a great bipod. They made some improvements on this BT-46, and let's talk about those improvements. Okay. So first off, um, let's go over some user specs as far as it goes. Um, the height adjustability in the cant, 15 degrees, pan and cant are the same. Okay. So as far as specs go, 4.75 inches to 9 inches in height, they're the same. Okay. Uh, the military anodized finish, a really good finish. Now this looks, uh, even though it's dirty, it looks pretty good, right? It looks new. I beat this to death, man. I am hard use. I throw it on my rifles. I throw it in the dirt. Um, it gets pretty beat up. Okay. So it's a durable finish. I know that because this is over a year old and I've done a lot of stuff to it, like, you know, dirt, mud, um, use it a lot and it's in great shape and it's very high quality. The newest, the new hotness, the BT-46, the American Defense is the same. We're going to have a little bit different markings on it. Uh, we have the new logo um, versus the old logo. So here's the new one. And let me show you the logo on the side of the ADM mount. Hopefully it'll focus here. Okay. And here's the older mount that has um, the American flag but not the Eagle logo. So this is the same model number. So I'd imagine that the specs are exactly the same as far as the mount goes. This mount is the 170S lever. Okay. All right. So with that in mind, uh, the legs look pretty much, again, left side is the new hotness. Um, the front is going to have literally the same deal. We have the little arrow pointing to the left, and it says Atlas Bipod Patented. So Atlas Bipod Patented, where the um, Gen 1 has it, but the writing's a little different. So let's notice the difference in the writing here. And I know this is legit because I bought this from a dealer. So that's the Gen 1. And that's what the Gen 2 looks like, just in case you're ever curious. Um, from the side profile, it seems to be almost identical. Um, I noticed that these uh, legs are a little different. See how there's a, like a kind of a nut here, but this is much more defined. It actually is larger. Okay. Finish is pretty much the same. I this has been this has been used, so that's why the finish is a little she, has a little sheen to it. And then the very back um, is almost the same. You see this little little bump here. That's the new that's a new feature. Uh, the forward and aft anti pivoting thingy is what they call them. So what was happening was, you know, look at how heavy. Look at these big rifles. Okay, this is a big rifle. It weighs 13 pounds with no optics. Okay, you don't. And what was happening is uh, shooters were complaining that there was a forward and rear rock to the bipod. So as you're as you're loading up the rifle, it would actually um, move forward and backwards, which was not really desirable by the shooters. They didn't mind a side to side cant and a pan, right? But they didn't want a forward and rear um, shift there. So what they did, what BT Industries did, is they put these little bumpers in here. And that is supposed to minimize the forward and rear uh, movement, which is cool. Okay. Another feature here is non-rotational legs. Now let me show you the Gen 1. Watch the legs. Whoop. Okay. So what was happening is people were shooting on, say, concrete. And um, what was happening is the recoil and the movement of rifles was walking the rifle um, or up and down or back and forward based on these legs rotating. Which I can kind of see that if you're moving around and messing around, having these legs rotate is could be slightly annoying, I guess. Um, I had small problems with that, but you know I have shooting bags and stuff. It really didn't have that problem. So the Gen 2, they have anti-rotational legs. Um, they have this uh, channel here. See this inner channel? If you can see it, 
it doesn't exist on this model. So the Gen 1, let's look at the inside of the leg, the inside thigh. It's just totally round. The Gen 2 has a channel built in here, so it, these legs do not rotate. So when you're on concrete or a hard surface tabletop and you're shooting, um, it's supposed to not walk. That's why they have these anti-rotational legs. So you see that channel. So this is part of the Gen 2 update. Supposedly they strengthened the legs and they have the inner legs now made out of T7075 aluminum, which I guess is a better material than whatever the hell they had before. Um, this maybe is just stamped still. I actually don't know what the material is here. But and I do know that the material now, the inner legs, is now T7075 aluminum. Okay? That's it. Um, as far as weight goes, I'm pretty sure they weigh the same. I actually don't know what they weigh. Uh, the new hotness, MSRP on it is 320 bucks. Yep, I know. I know. Spendy. Buy once, cry once, right guys? Good quality shit. I mean, you have a rifle like this, this, this uh, 338 Lapua Magnum rifle. Um, I don't want a cheap bipod that can't support it. I know as a fact after hundreds of rounds that this works. Okay, No failures, holds up the rifle, very comfortable with the adjustments. So uh, this is the new hotness. So we're going to try this out. Um, the new features again, uh, pretty much the um, fore and aft pivoting prevention dilly dally. These little bumpers here, the anti-rotational legs with the channel here so these don't rotate and then um, also uh, lastly the inner legs are now um, I guess a better material so is that worth $40 uh, yeah if you're gonna spend that much money why not what's the difference between 280 and 320 at this point it's it's nothing so the new hotness is uh, here we're gonna try it out we actually got a, sh a little shooting event coming up we're gonna be using Irene Irene's right here she's a Barrett 98 Bravo uh, on top of her is a uh, night forest attacker. Uh, so we're and oh yeah, guess you haven't seen this. Look at this is the spur mount. Oh my gosh, oh that is sexy. Tell me that's not sexy. Look at that scope mount. Woo. Anyway, that's another video. Stay tuned, guys. We'll talk about all that stuff later. But uh, this is it. Any questions or comments? Let me know. Again, this is the Atlas Precision Bipod. I give this product. Uh, I haven't tried the new one, but the old version, the BT10. I give it a triple thumbs up. I love this thing. Love it. It is amazing and great. And it is durable. And no, nobody's paying me to give you this, this recommendation. It's a personal recommendation based on my personal experience.